Former President Donald Trump on Saturday laid out his plans to wholeheartedly embrace cryptocurrency if elected for a second term, telling hundreds of cheering supporters of the digital tokens that he wants the US to be a Bitcoin superpower under his leadership. In his keynote address at a Bitcoin conference in Nashville, Tennessee, the Republican presidential nominee promised to make the United States the crypto capital of the planet and create a Bitcoin strategic reserve using the currency that the government currently holds. He also promised to remove Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Gary Gensler if elected and implement a Crypto Advisory Council, teasing the crowd by asking attendees if anyone wanted to join. We will have regulations, but from now on, the rules will be written by people who love your industry, not hate your industry, he said. Trump said he is proud to be the first major party nominee in American history to accept donations in Bitcoin and crypto. This is the steel industry 100 years ago, Trump said about Bitcoin. In 15 years, Bitcoin has become the most valuable asset anywhere in the world. It is already bigger than ExxonMobil, he added, referring to the largest energy company in the US. Trump described his reason for taking the podium at the much-anticipated conference by cryptocurrency enthusiasts in two words, America first. Because if we don't do it, China's going to be doing, others are going to be doing it. Let's do it and do it right. We cannot let China dominate. I want the US to be first in technology, science, manufacturing, artificial intelligence, AI, and space. While Bitcoin mining consumes a lot much energy, according to critics, Trump said the US will be producing more electricity in the future than its own total consumption. Trump noted that around 175 million people are involved in some form of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. He criticized the US administration of Joe Biden for regulations on cryptocurrencies and the industry. He also criticized Vice President Kamala Harris, who has become the presumptive presidential candidate of Democrats after Biden withdrew from the race, saying that she is against crypto. Trump also criticized the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, because he said the market watchdog is obliterating Bitcoin. Trump's keynote address at the Bitcoin 2024 conference showed how radically his position on cryptocurrency has changed over time. He was not always a fan of cryptocurrencies, writing on social media in 2019 that their value is highly volatile and based on thin air. He has embraced the digital currency in recent years, and in May, his campaign began accepting donations in cryptocurrency. Throughout the nearly 50-minute speech, Trump repeatedly sought to contrast his support of cryptocurrency to the Biden's administration efforts to regulate the industry, telling the crowd that the federal government was blocking your way. Trump said he wanted cryptocurrency mined, minted, and made in the United States. The former president appealed to Bitcoin fans by pointing to US law enforcement seizures of the digital token. They took it away from you, he said. So, as I take steps to transform that vast wealth into a permanent national asset to benefit all Americans, today I repeat my promise to commute the sentence of Ross Ulbricht. Ulbricht created the underground drug-selling website Silk Road, but was sentenced to life in prison after a judge held him responsible for six overdose deaths linked to his website. Some of the nearly 800 attendees who flocked to downtown Nashville to hear Trump speak wore Free Ross Day One hats in a nod to Ulbricht's prison sentence. Tennessee's U.S. Sen. Marsha Blackburn called Trump's announcement of a Bitcoin strategic reserve a historic moment. Trump's remarks came a day after independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. addressed the conference and also pitched launching a strategic Bitcoin reserve. Crypto shares surge after Trump's remarks. Crypto exchange Coinbase's shares climbed 3%, while miners Bitfarms, Riot Platforms, and CleanSpark were up between 4% and 5%. Trump has projected himself as the pro-Bitcoin candidate ahead of the election in November. The former president's return could be a huge win for the industry, which has often complained of excessive oversight and a hostile regulatory environment under President Joe Biden. Any Trump trade into U.S. election should include greater allocation to Bitcoin and Bitcoin-linked stocks, Bernstein analysts wrote in a note. Trump's advocacy for cryptocurrency is expected to have a significant impact on his election campaign. By positioning himself as a champion of the crypto industry, Trump is likely to attract support from a growing community of cryptocurrency enthusiasts, traders, and investors.
This demographic, which has been rapidly expanding over the past decade, represents a new and influential voter base that is keen on seeing favorable regulations and policies that promote the growth of digital currencies. Many in the crypto community view Trump's stance as a potential game changer for the industry. The promise to establish a Bitcoin strategic reserve and create a regulatory environment that supports innovation is seen as a bold move that could propel the US to the forefront of the global crypto market. This approach contrasts sharply with the current administration's more cautious and regulatory heavy stance, which many in the industry feel stifles innovation and growth. Crypto traders and industry experts have expressed a range of opinions on Trump's proposals. Some view his promises with optimism, believing that a pro-crypto administration could lead to a surge in investment and adoption of digital currencies. The potential for deregulation and the establishment of a strategic reserve are seen as positive steps that could enhance the stability and legitimacy of cryptocurrencies. On the other hand, some experts caution that Trump's promises may be difficult to implement. The complexity of the crypto market and the need for balanced regulation to protect investors and prevent fraud are significant challenges that any administration would face. Moreover, the volatility of cryptocurrencies remains a concern, and some argue that establishing a strategic reserve could expose the national economy to unnecessary risks. Trump's proposals have also sparked discussions about the broader implications for the financial system. By embracing cryptocurrencies, the US could position itself as a leader in financial innovation, attracting talent and investment from around the world. This could lead to a new era of technological advancement and economic growth, with the potential for significant job creation in the crypto and blockchain sectors. However, the move towards a crypto-centric economy also raises questions about the traditional banking system and its role in the future. The integration of digital currencies into the national economy could disrupt existing financial institutions and lead to significant shifts in how financial services are provided. This transition would require careful management to ensure stability and protect consumers. In conclusion, Donald Trump's embrace of cryptocurrency represents a significant shift in his political platform and has the potential to reshape the landscape of the US financial system. By positioning himself as a pro-crypto candidate, Trump is likely to gain support from a growing and influential community of digital currency enthusiasts. While his proposals offer exciting opportunities for innovation and growth, they also present challenges that will require careful consideration and management. As the election campaign progresses, Trump's stance on cryptocurrency will be a key factor in shaping the discourse around the future of digital assets and their role in the economy. What are your thoughts about this video? Do you think that this move will help Trump to become president again? Let us know in the comment down below. That's all for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching.